So then comes the Jay-Z situation. So you actually knew Jay-Z before the music industry. Yes. In what regard? Um, I mean, you know, from the streets. Right. Yeah. Have you guys actually done any drug business together yourself? Um, we were, you know, through, through my upper echelon. Yeah. We, okay. Oh, it's with Brooklyn thing. Got it. Okay. So Jay-Z is preparing for his next album. Life and Times of S. Doc Carter, Volume 3. Mm -hmm. A month and a half before the album gets officially released, it gets leaked. Mm -hmm. Jay spoke about the situation in his book, Decoded. Mm -hmm. He said, when Volume 3 hit the streets more than a month before the official release date, I was totally at a loss. Mm -hmm. This was really too much. I was slipping out on Def Jam staff, accusing people of having something to do with the bootleg copies of the street. I just couldn't believe how flagrant it was and how much more damaging it could be than the usual low-level bootlegging. I want to know how my shit got out. People kept giving me the same name as the source of the bootlegging. It was someone I knew, someone I never would have suspected. And he's talking about you. Mm. So, the night of the incident, before he actually got to Q-Tip's party, Jay had a listening event for... Volume three. He was there. Beanie Siegel was there. Emil, Memphis Bleak. He performed a few records on stage. And uh, Dame Dash got on the microphone and was like, fuck the bootleggers. So there was already kind of an air of this kind of thing. So then Q-Tip is having his actual party for his solo album mm -hmm. at the Kit Kat Club in Times Square. Mm -hmm. You were there. Puffy was there. Lil' Kim was there. Lil C's was there. Buster Rhymes was there. Murder Inc. was all over the building. Supreme was actually there. Mm -hmm. So this is where there's different versions of the story have been floating around. So you're at the party. Jay-Z comes in mm -hmm. with his crew. What happens next? Um... I mean, what happened that night yeah. was um, he came and would, I seen everybody that you just named at the party, regular industry. I think Jacob and Jessica threw that party for Q-Tip. So I showed up to support. Um, Jay, bunch of us is in there. Uh, I ended up getting surrounded um, by a bunch of people. It was I, I, it was probably ten knives that I knew of, and um, I ended up getting stabbed okay. at the Kit Kat Club. Was Jay Z the one that actually stabbed you? Um, <laughs> for the, no, Jay Z was not the guy who actually stabbed me that night. But Jay Z was there when you got stabbed. Um, was yeah. actually in front of you when you got stabbed. Um, it was like yeah, me and Jay Z had a conversation while, you know, um, right before I got hit in the head with a champagne bottle. Um. And it was a brief conversation, and I was looking at him like, what are you talking about? And you know you fucking the money up right now. Well, what did he tell you? Um, he just kept saying, you broke my heart. You broke my heart. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, you're bucking right now, bro. You getting ready to fuck up everything. And, you know, and I don't, I don't know where people got Jay-Z stabbed me from because if anybody knows Jay-Z, Jay-Z's a nice guy, right? He's an artist. He's 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 a poet. He's gifted. And it's never been his history. You know, if if Jay-Z had to stab me, 
y'all wouldn't have got the Black album, you know, because through my whole history, I'm a eye for an eye type of guy, you know. Um, unfortunately, I I got stabbed that night, but the the reality to it is, you know, Nas, you know, and I don't know why I didn't, didn't nobody believe him on Ether. He said. <laughs> to, to, it, uh, talked about the incident, you know, like he let people know, like, yo, your man stabbed on you, you took the blame for it, you know, and unfortunately, you know, he 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 was caught up in a power struggle, you know, he he it, it was it was all about the power to you know to get rid of Dame Dash, you know, and and take Jay Z to the next level without Dame, you know? And it was, you know, D Dame should stop blaming Leo and, and, and Todd Moskowitz and stop blaming Steve Stout. Okay, where exactly did you get stabbed? Um, I got stabbed in the back. In the back? Yeah. Where, like in? In the shoulder. One stab? Yeah. Okay, so that's it, it wasn't multiple stabbing because the, the reports were that you were stabbed in the shoulder and the abdomen. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Um, no. No, just no. the back. Yeah. 